All right, good morning, happy Friday. They're in the studio, Rick the Jesus and the guys from Adelita's Way. The show Woo! is tonight. I, you know, I, I'm happy it's sold out. I, I'm thrilled that it's sold out, but I'm bummed that it's sold out because I want more people to come, man. This is the first rock show we've had in town in over a year. I'm it's, ready for this. Oh, we're ready. We should do two nights. Yeah, we, that'd we, be great. Wow. We try to do two nights, but I, I think there's like a uh, something going on at the venue yeah, tomorrow. Uh, yeah, they, they, have a, they have a gala, a gala there, I believe, tomorrow. So they weren't able to do two nights. Yeah. Well, does the gala need a band, and then we'll just invite more people in? It'll be great. <laughs> That's what I said. I said, what kind of food do they got at this gala? <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Let's go. We're coming. Um, so it is. It's been so long since I've seen you, man. I yeah, think it was, too long. It was uh, Vegas from a few years ago. So. We're thrilled that once, like we said, first show in over a year, we're thrilled that it's you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys always put on a great show, so super excited. I mean, how have you been spending the pandemic? You said you were busy. We, we, max we maximized the pandemic. You know, we know it was unfortunate for, for a lot of people, and, uh, you know, we're praying for them. But for us, we, we did 30 live streams uh, for our fans. We got together regularly to hang out and, and enjoy each other and, and play music. We, uh, we spent... Uh, a lot of time in the studio, uh, made pretty much a whole new album, and then and then we were able to find a way to navigate throughout the whole year and play uh, 17 outdoor socially distanced events. That's and, cool. And it was just a, it was a fantastic uh, uh, for for us. We still had a fun year together, yeah. right? Because that's what it's uh, it's about. You you want to get with your. I'm in a band with my best friends, and if if I'm not playing with those guys and we're not playing music, you, you're sadder. It comes down as simple as that, right? And then you, you get the fans involved now, and it really feels like. Uh, it feels like everything's back. It feels great. Now, Rick, I felt like you were testing us um, this week, actually specifically this morning, right? So I've been talking to you via email all week, just making sure we're good for you to come in today. And uh, this morning, I get in and Cotter looks at me and goes, Ellie's Way has a brand new song. I'm like, why wouldn't Rick say something about this? Why wouldn't he <laughs> throw me the track so we could play it? And then I go, he was testing me. I was testing you, man. Dude, <laughs> I, honestly, we're just so used to just, just uh, dropping music, and we're just so used to it that – that it, uh, we don't shout. It's, I don't want to say we don't shout it from the rooftops, but we just, we just do it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Right. So, sometimes when you when you have that, you have that. Well, uh, uh, jokes on you. We pass with flying colors. Not only do we have that song, we purchased that song. We just oh, gave. Man. We just gave you guys gas money. I You're welcome. It. You're welcome. Yeah, and you get, yeah. and I'm you going get, to look. And you get free beer this morning. So <laughs> I, if I don't get a lifetime pass into to Adelita's way shows, I don't know what I, else I have to you, do, guys. You got the lifetime pass. It's a done, look. You had it before. Right. It was done. <laughs> You're good. Awesome. So uh, the new song is called "Own It." Uh, so we're going to get to that here in a second. We've got the beer. Uh, from the Wingman and, and Coastal Empire Beer Company. We're going to mm -hmm. drink that. It is beer for breakfast. We have oh, a yeah. guest. It would be a shame if we didn't drink. We're going to drink. Uh, beer's already been poured. we got to catch right. up. So <laughs> we're going to uh, take a quick break. We'll be right back. Rick to Jesus and the guys from Adelita's Way, Rock 106.1. So I'll just take yeah, a little taste. Right. Trev, Trev's not gonna, right? You don't want none. Okay. Take a little sip. That's all that matters. We only drink like an ounce. Some fish along the way. <sighs> or we'll slam some more. It depends. <laughs> it depends on how the interview goes. Look, when something comes in a jug like that, you know it's. <laughs> yeah, you're about to have a good time. All right, well, guys, thanks thanks once again for coming in. Obviously, everyone on the love stream, uh, Sandy goes, I love y'all. Thanks for the shout out. Um, so, obviously, we have Rick DeJesus, lead singer of Adelita's Way. Uh, we have Trevor Stafford. Yep. Okay, that's that's that guy in the background who's waving. Uh, <laughs> and, then, extraordinary. and then we have Tavis. Is that you? Yep. Yes. Tavis, Tavis Stanley. Solid name. Sick name. He's been with the band, according to 
Google since 2017. Congratulations. Um, <laughs> Google knows. Yeah, Google. Google Google knows everything about you guys, including your social security numbers. Yep. Um, Holiday knows ours too. So one thing, uh, one thing we do during uh, the break uh, between commercials and stuff is we like to have fun. So uh, stream's still going; they can hear us. Yeah, I don't know stream. if you guys know this or not, but there's a game called Answer the Internet. So okay. ans- Answer the Internet. It's from Barstool Sports. Uh, the guys there at Barstool are really awesome. So um, they ask ridiculous questions. So we're going to ask you guys these questions and see what your answers are. They hear our answers all the time. Okay. Would you rather fight a short gladiator or a rhino? <laughs> Once again. <laughs> a short gladiator, definitely. Yes. Okay. I'll punt that little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, a short gladiator or a rhino. What do, what do you guys say? Probably take the rhino. I think I could get on his back and maybe yes. like choke it a little bit or poke its eye. Ooh, tame him. Tame him, and you get yeah. a pet rhino. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Awesome stuff. I don't know why I'm hearing commercials in my head. Because we're – because with the delay, I have to keep it running. Oh, okay, gotcha. Sorry, sorry. Things are different when we actually have people in the studio with us. All right, uh, let's do another question here. And everyone, uh, go ahead and drop your answers in the chat as well. We'll go over those. Would you date a hot chick who cheers for your rival team? Oh. How hot? <laughs> she, I mean, she is a smoke show. She's a 10 out of 10 hot chick. She's interested, but she... she now, is, it, is it her rival? Are she... You know, sometimes it's a, our, our ladies will go against us just to, just to right. do it. Is that what it's like? I don't want a relationship with that. I don't want her constantly <laughs> like this. Battling all the time. Yeah, it's beautiful out today. <laughs> <laughs> Now my wa- my wife's a Chicago White Sox fan. I'm a Cubs fan, and we've had a lot of fun with that. And we're still married to this day, ten years going. So good for us. But I mean, if she if she was a Green Bay Packers fan, I couldn't be married to. Her. I'm a Bears fan. I can't I can't have it. Not my in my household. Kind of, my wife is like, oh, you know, does he get any of his team names right? Ah. Uh, like, oh, you know, basketball, the Bruins. Like, That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> good try, babe. Yeah, the hockey team. Uh, yeah. Go to see the Lakers play. I'm like, do you know any player in Lakers? She's like, no. You know. <laughs> You're like, honey, we live in Las Vegas. <laughs> they They're in Los Mar-o-Odin. Angeles. Yeah, she knows the Mar- Lamar Odom, Stephen Odom Kardashian. Lamar, Lamar's still in the Lakers. I'm like, he hasn't played basketball in eight years. Uh, he had a bad time there. Crack. Uh, um. All right. So, do you want to run into uh, beer for breakfast, or do you want to do questions? And Let's we'll do wrap questions, up. and then we can wrap up with. Yeah. Okay. So, so we'll do another. We'll have two more breaks, and we'll do uh, we'll give you guys some questions, and then we'll uh, jump into our uh, beer review, man. Yeah, we'll we'll do questions. Uh, we'll, we've got one song come out of the break. We'll do questions. We'll go into the new song, uh, come out of that, and we'll get uh, try the beer, and then we'll uh, take it away. <laughs> Nathan says, "Yep, a little friction makes for fun times when it comes <laughs> to uh, the hot chick for the rival team." Sure, I can agree. Make it a hot. A lot of friction. We should have Josh have a Raiders Cowboys game. Oh, yeah, they got you two know? flags. They're like, oh, they put the yeah. two flags side by that side. It makes learning so fun, it. engaging, and best of all. One day it's going to be fun playing the Cowboys. Yep. <laughs> all right, we about to go on? No, no, we got to wrap. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're coming out of five. I feel like in my household, my dad bred us to the Hornet. <laughs> way to tell me, Dad, I'm, I'm really, I'm really feeling the Raiders this year. He, he might just be like, yeah, he might just be talking behind my back that we're not, I'm really happy here. Yeah. <laughs> put, like, he'd probably like put up a tent in the backyard and be like, "That's your home now. Yeah, You're a be, tent boy." <laughs> he, he would definitely be emotional. He would be like, you know, I'd leave the room and mm. rush my family to go to the field. I don't know where we went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Yeah, exactly. Mm. <laughs> my two beautiful children. Dad, I got straight A's. Yeah, kid, I, I just can't recognize the things. <laughs> and you're not rooting for the Eagles. They keep asking for Grandpa. Yeah. Tell them they have no Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. Tell them Grandpa bleeds green. <laughs> All right, so we got about three minutes. Three we'll minutes. Uh, yep. we'll jump back in. So where are you guys? Where are you guys after to tonight? Going to okay. Florida. Oh, that's not yeah. bad. I'll be in the beach. Florida. We had a beach working real hard. <laughs> hard work. Oh, it was awesome. So after interviews going on the beach. Yeah. So after you guys get done touring, do you all have to like drive the bus back to where you started or do you sure. fly out? No, 
No, we drive back. Okay. So, we, we not only do we drive back, but Travis is the Iron Man. <laughs> just standing there, drive like him. But also, too, I, I feel like if this, we've been doing this for, I don't even know how long anymore, 13, 14 years, 15 years? Something like 13. I don't even know anymore. We were talking about it earlier. I'm like, how old am I? <laughs> uh, I lose track. Yeah, I lose track. But at this point, like, we, we, we make the best of it, and we pretty much enjoy it, right? We, we, yeah. We, we have, like, a system. We don't miss the games we want to watch. We find a way to watch them. We, 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 you know, our drives, we just find a way to listen to information. Yep. Have fun together. Enjoy the, the, what's around us. And it, Honestly, you miss it. Even though it doesn't sound – as luxurious. Oh, you got to drive twelve hours to right. this place. It's like not twelve hours. Yeah, we find <laughs> a way to make it a, a great time for us. Yeah, what, you know. What's the uh, What's the number one rule on the bus? Number one rule: Don't spend money on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't know gotcha. You know. Trailer. All right. Yeah. What's What's the number one rule when you're all in the car together? Like, you know, if you, if you relieve yourself, let the windows down, <laughs> say something. Don't let it be a surprise. I think it's an unspoken. Really we just don't even. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any rules. Okay, all and right. The rule is if, if if you're smoking a joint and I'm sleeping, wake me up. <laughs> you know, that's that number one. that's yeah. a good rule. Yeah, don't, don't let <laughs> it skip over me. I don't want to wake up and just see a little. <laughs> let me taste one of them chips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Parties for everybody. How many chips did you get? Yeah. Ooh, bag three bags. Yep. Yeah. All right. That's awesome. Yeah, sixty seconds away. Yep. Uh, we'll jump in. Uh, we got 13 people currently watching right now. Uh, all out real quick, 60 seconds, go. <laughs> Clean Marine 71. Uh, Gibby, uh, thanks, love the show, especially now it's mornings. Oh, thanks, Clean Marine 71. Uh, Gibby says, keep coming. Pack, plan to. Awesome. All right, guys, we got 30. We'll be right back. All right, big thanks to everybody checking us out on the stream this morning, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. The stream got way sexier just about 10, 15 minutes ago. When oh, because of my vest? No, no. Oh, uh, no. It's because of these fine three They're gentlemen right here. They are very handsome. Actually, they smell really well for uh, a couple guys who just played a show last night, probably closer <laughs> to midnight. Salt and then vinegar. Yeah, salt, <laughs> salt and vinegar chips. You just yeah. rubbed them all over your body. Oh, it's <laughs> fantastic. Uh, of course, uh, Rick and the guys from Adelita's Way. The show is tonight, Victor North Savannah. It is sold out. I, I, it's going to be so much fun, you it know. Is. And we're going to be introducing every band tonight. They've allowed us to do to do that for some reason. That'll be great. I'm going to be very exhausted, so I either need to get really drunk yes. beforehand, or I will be sleepwalking my way through introductions, <laughs> and that'll be bad. Why don't you just introduce us sleepwalking? Oh, <laughs> yeah, be, yeah, there you that go. Would, that would be sick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Make sure to talk to the mic there. Uh, oh, well, let's. Yeah, you. Yeah, it's weird directionally thing. Perfect. All right. You, All right. You, you've got questions. I, well, I've got questions. Well, I have props. You it's, do it's, have props. It's essentially, it's, it's, yeah, it's like, uh, it's like carrot top over here. Carrot yeah. So, I know him. So, so I bet you do living in Vegas. That's my uh, buddy, yeah. So Cotter and I yesterday were sitting down talking about talking to you guys, and uh, we went through kind of the history of Adelita's Way, and the glow up that you've gotten over this last decade or so, Rick, you've went from a guy who was like, okay, he's a rock star, to a smoke show. You are a handsome son of a bitch. Thank you. No so, one tells me that, so I'm going to take it from you. Nobody I, I, says it. Nobody so, says it. Everyone on the stream, I'm going to show, once again, I have some props. So here is Rick. I won't say it is is not his best. So here's a here's a live shot that I found on the internet just of, of Rick here. It was hot out that day. Just, it was very hot. The shirt was not clinging to the right parts of his body. And then I find a picture like this, and I'm like, what oh, is yeah. going on there? Yeah. <laughs> Ladies, look, it's true. Look at, guys, look at this. Yep. So explain the process of this to this. Chicks, man. <laughs> so you're saying your wife? 
your wife maybe at the time? Not the wife, maybe. Uh, yeah, I had to do that to get my wife. <laughs> She's, wow. You're talking Once about again, look the smoking hot rivals. Ooh. I mean, you still have that shirt? Yeah. Can well, you wear it tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I do have that shirt. <laughs> well, it's like I, I, you know, Ben. I've known Rick for 12 years now. When you first played the show over at Hilton Head. Uh, it, within those 12 years, I have gone downhill. You have drastically not. And I, I don't I'm, think so. I I'm, think you look the best you've ever looked. I, I, this I guy should you be in the studio fantastic. every day. He's so yeah. good. He's building up my, my own. You, you know, not so much. Uh, Rick Rick was trained in PR so well at the beginning <laughs> no. of his career. He knows exactly what look to at say the, at the look right Look at the time. luscious locks. You didn't have yeah. those. You just, Those are a, a, It's not a new thing, but it's a couple years. Yeah. yeah. Those are, you know, that just used to be a kind of a buzz cut. I don't think I've ever felt better about myself yeah. than I do right now. Oh, wow. Not going to lie. Wow. All right. And look okay. what everyone online is saying. Look, the, yeah. Yeah. Handsome man, yes. Uh, they're probably talking about you. <laughs> uh, so uh, we, we've got this brand new song, Own It. Uh, so let's talk about that. You guys uh, teamed up with New Medicine for this? Yeah, th- those guys are great friends of ours. And look, they went on a hiatus for a few years, and I feel like I've spent the past couple years uh, because they blew up. They 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 blew up when they were on hiatus. Yeah, you, you know uh, that's what's great about music today. If people love a song, uh, they'll they'll stream it, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, the band's off for five years, uh, and I've been just uh, kind of talking them into coming back. I'm like, dude, it's a great time. Yeah. Uh, and uh, during that time, you know, they had a song that hit like 30 million streams on Spotify when they were on hiatus. Yeah. Damn. So uh, uh, I kind of just wanted it to be fun and I said let's let's make a song let's just get in there and have a great time and own it happened and I feel like um in my opinion a lot of people right now are are almost afraid to be who they are stand for what they stand for Uh, everyone is out there trying to tell you who you should be uh what you should be supporting and 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 to me uh we we cannot lose ourselves we cannot lose uh, uh the way we tick who we are our individuality and that's what Own It's all about. Own It is about being yourself, uh, owning who you are, and, and not really uh, shorten yourself, man. All right. Well, let's do it. Low Country and Coastal Empire premiere right now at Alita's Way along with the guys in New Medicine. This is Own It, Cotter and Marshall Show, Rock 106.1. Sorry. All right. Back Sorry. Live. New buttons to push. Back live on the stream. So we had a, I had a bunch of questions I want to get to you, but I know we probably won't be able to do that on the air. So let's get to it on the stream. Sure. Uh, so here's a listener question from uh, one of the guys that hang around with us every single morning. Gibby is his name. Uh, he said, with this pandemic bringing essentially chaos to the music industry as a whole, what pros have you seen that come through uh, the stream of services, bring live music to the masses? Something you kind of addressed right there. And he goes, and what would you like to see in the future of the industry? Like, what would you keep? What would you like to be seen uh, sent to the incinerator? Uh, do do you have anything to add to the, that you want to jump on right this right away? Yeah, I, I would say this. It's it's about adaptation. Uh, we adapted to the pandemic, and the way you adapt is the goal is the same. You connect with your fans. You you show the fans that you're the real deal by performing for them live, by performing for them stripped down, by giving them different uh, uh different experiences, and then you go in the studio and and you see if you can consistently uh make great music and and that's what i think the pandemic kind of brought out it brought out adaptation how well can you adapt and it also tested people's will you know what did some of these other bands do during the pandemic did they just kind of go off into the wayside did they just kind of use it as a year to relax i mean we did 30 live streams we did uh, 17 outdoor events and and we made a whole new record so i think uh, we were focused on adapting making the best of the year and and we grew uh, in 2020, more uh, than we've ever grown. We're, we're right now, our numbers, when you look at data, not just based off popular opinion, we're the biggest we've ever been in our 13-year career, and it feels fantastic. That's incredible. From uh, from listener Renee Howard, her her question was very simple. Will you be signing autographs? <laughs> in, a, in a time like this, that's a very good question. It's, so, it's got to be like it was in the olden days. You got you got to <laughs> come back and find us. You got to <laughs> sneak back. You got to break backstage. <laughs> You've got to, and, and we're totally down. Look, I, I do always, uh, I'm very grateful for our fans. We're very blessed. Uh, I love our fans. And uh, I will sign any autograph and, and take any picture uh, if you find me. If you, if you, <laughs> you know, am I going to, am I going to come out and do. Go out to the table and. No, nah, yeah. you know, it's tough, right? You want to be, you yeah. want to be uh, cautious, I guess, right? You, you yeah. know, you just, you just don't want to. 
uh, do that, be the first out there doing meet and greets and stuff. You know, we're taking it one step at a time. And first for us is putting on performances, getting out there, getting people back in, in music venues. You know, showing everyone that if you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> How much time we got? Uh, we've got. Uh, I put in another song. So we got oh, three cool. minutes because we still got to uh, pour beers for us and do all that ahead of time. So we do it when we're on the air. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's at Cotter Marshall, K-O-T-T-E-R Marshall, M-A-R-S-H-A-L-L. Uh, another question for you. Uh, this is one from me. Uh, in an interview you did in October of 2020, you mentioned it was important not to be selfish. But in an interview with Connect Savannah just a few days ago, you said, quote, we are a pop rock band, strong, catchy melodies, big voice, great lyrics. I play with elite musicians, and I have always had a gift for lyrics and melodies. So once again, I guess the question here is, how are you so wholesome and selfless <laughs> and have the confidence to pat yourself on the back so damn hard when it comes to great melodies, great lyrics? I was like, that guy is so selfless, but at the same time, he just gave himself the ultimate confidence, facts and that facts. was awesome. Facts are <laughs> fa facts, are facts. I think you can be a little cocky and a little humble at the same time. It's right. good balance, you know. I, there should be a word for that. I think the the the, 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 <laughs> the six the six albums of songs I think of the melodies and lyrics yeah. that I've written almost every uh, melody and lyric on six records. That's eighty songs. It speaks for itself. When when you know we have. Uh, almost 200 million streams independently, and and at some point, data is data. Facts yeah. are facts. I have no problem looking at 200 million streams and saying, people like my lyrics and melodies. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, but also give credit where credit's due. I'm I'm in a band with uh, the best musicians I've ever played Elite with. Elite musicians. Elite musicians. Damn. Elite. Well, and I mean, I'll, it's like I don't know if I've ever told you this story even, but when you guys played the very first show at Hilton Head, uh, it was before the record came out, and um, we didn't know you were on the show. And you guys killed it so much. It's like we come back to work on Monday. People are calling. We're, we're, we want to. We want to hear Adelie's way. That's I mean, great. I had to call the record label to tell them to send me music because we, they just people wanted it so much. After seeing you one time, it's and, the power of buzz, isn't dude, it? Beautiful. Great. Yeah, it was. It was awesome. It was it's, awesome to see. And here we are, a sold out show. <laughs> Savannah. In years a pandemic, later, you have a sold out a, show. That pandemic. feels good. Yeah. Look, yeah. this. We, we were on a streak. I mean, we we did uh, about two minutes okay. about. What almost ten sold out shows in a row? Uh, that that feels great. That feels great to be, you know, on the road for over a decade, and 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 now you got ten sold out shows in a row. Heading into Savannah, another sold out show. So yeah. we're excited. We will live stream the show tonight oh, for cool. anybody. Yep. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So we'll make sure. To yeah. That. Make sure to check out Adelita's Ways Twitch. Um, all right. YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, all of it. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll say that. We got 90 seconds, but I have to ask you this question because we probably won't have time uh, while we review the beer. I know you're a big wrestling fan. You've worked with the WWE. You got relationships with The Miz and Baron Corbin. Um, I've heard from other interviews. And I know you love old school guys like Stone Cold and Bret Hart. Oh, yeah. So marry F and kill The Rock Undertaker and Shawn, <laughs> and Shawn Michaels. You got to marry F and kill each one of those guys. Which one? Well, <laughs> oh, we're on the stream. I can say fuck. I would, I would, I would marry The Rock just so my my wife's friend can be around no more. She's okay. obsessed with him. Yep. That's all she talks about. Uh, I would probably kill The Undertaker because he's already dead. Uh, oh, Shaw, nice. good point. Yeah, and then, you, and then you're effing the sexy boy, sexy Shawn Michaels. Yeah, yeah. that's well, well. I still think Shawn be a little. He he might be still a little smaller than me. So yeah, I'd be. I'd be up in him. <laughs> you know? Dominating. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We got about 30. We'll be right back. It is the Cotter and Marshall Show, Rock 1061. The guys from Adelita's Way in studio. The show is tonight, Victory North. Now, sold out, but you guys said you're going to be live streaming the show. So if people can't go, they want to see it, how do they live stream it? If anybody can't make it to the, to the show tonight, we're going to be uh, live streaming it on our Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, 
um, we want everybody to, to to be a part of it. I mean, it's it's we've been streaming a lot of our, our shows just so the fans that that can't be yeah. there can enjoy a night of music, you know, and and it feels great. Well, I, I mean, I think that you're talking about adapting and changing. And, I mean, taking advantage. I mean, it's why we're live streaming this morning's show. I mean, it's it's a, just another tool to help yourself get mm -hmm. out there in front of people. And you've got fans in, in a situation during the pandemic when it is socially distanced, reduced capacity, still giving the fans the opportunity to see the show. I think it's amazing. Well, it's great. We're very egotistical. We just love to see each other on camera, you know, just – I that's mostly just, just stare into my own dreamy eyes. That's just that. Mm. So, also, no, also awesome. you, you've got a. It's an opportunity to show everyone that you're the real deal. Yeah. When, if people come in and see your, your live stream, we see it all the time. Like people have never seen us live before. They see us on the live stream. We're live streaming so often. They get a, 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 a to hear the show and see the show. More people are coming out to see us than ever. And and again, uh, I credit it with. I play with an amazing group of guys, an amazing band. We have fun every night on stage, and it really comes off. And and you could tell that that every time we get out there, that we want the best show to be that show that's going on right now. You know, you you set your standard. The best the best is the next one, right? Mm -hmm. you, you've got to continue to have that hunger and desire to be the best you've ever been, and we, we carry that into every show. Awesome. Well, we have a we have a segment. It's called Beer for Breakfast. We haven't drank any beer yet, but we need to change that right now. Yeah. So we've got uh, Good Times Brew. So the uh, the Wingman Motorcycle Club of Savannah. We we're talking about you guys coming in for beer for breakfast. They reached out, and they're like, you guys drink our beer? I'm like, yeah. So they, they dropped it off this morning because they wanted to make sure it was fresh. Fantastic beer. <laughs> so they got the, the the growler of it from Coastal Empire. So they brought it in this morning. So, yeah, Good Times Brew. This is a cream ale. It's like 4.5% uh, alcohol. 4.2% 4, 4 APV. So uh, we have a couple things that we go through on the checklist before we actually you know fully enjoy the beer, although we've been sipping mm -hmm. on the beers. Uh, so the first thing we do is we kind of hold it up to the light. It is a golden crystal clear yellow it's it's what you think when it comes to a, a perfect lager you know uh very similar to what you think like color wise like bud light Miller like your typical lager it's that straw like yellow yeah. i mean it's exactly what you want when it comes to beer. Now, and then, take, take a big old sniff of it it's got a bit of uh, it's got a bit of hopness to it yeah right you know this so it's a it's a cream ale should be nice and smooth and i'm, I'm ready to drink so screw it drink it. cheers guys <laughs> cheers cheers, cheers. That is smooth. Connoisseur, what do you think? Refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we're getting another round. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> We've got a six pack in the fridge in my office. Um, so the, the, the whole point of what they wanted to do is they wanted a light beer. I mean, they're driving around on motorcycles all day. They're hanging out. They didn't want something that's going. Well, they don't want to drink like ten percent stout right. or anything they don't crazy so, like that. <laughs> so they wanted an easy drinking beer. Right. And I think they have succeeded in this. I mean, the guys at Coastal always do great beer. I mean, they they really do nice mm -hmm. variety of stuff. And this is really good. Yeah, this is solid. So uh, this is the question we ask everyone in the room. On the beer scale of supremacy, excuse me, on a scale of one to five, what do we give uh, the Wingman Good Times Brew? Uh, let's go ahead and start with uh, you, uh, Tavis. You obviously have drank a couple of these already. Yeah. Uh, you are in the lead. Well, let me tell you something. It's, it's, uh, it's really good. Um, so no, it's it's fantastic. It's actually like you said, it's four and a half percent. It's kind of yep. like in between a light beer and a lager, yeah. and it's got a bit of that hoppy flavor that kind of just you know reminds me of something Tavis I would, at this than I we would are. drink in the late afternoon, not as much as the morning. But <laughs> right? so I don't feel like it's hitting me like the seven percent or anything, but right. it's got that flavor. So yeah, I like I like the hop. So on the beer scale of supremacy, on a scale of one to five, what would you give it? I'll give it a five. Oh wow! I'm, I'm down. Coming in, yeah. coming in big. Let's go, Potter. What would you give uh, Good Time Brews? Uh, I'm three point seven five because I think this is a, a really good. There's a little bit more hop Harsh. to it. <laughs> we we are a holes when it comes to oh, this. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it, it does have the nice little bit of hops to it, so it's not just you know you're not drinking a Bud Light. It's got flavor to it. So mm -hmm. I, I do like this beer. I think Coastal and the Wingman did a great job. Yeah, this is a great, like, picnic beer, a beach beer. This is the beer that you want to take out because yeah. you're going to be drinking it all day. It's not a beer that, you know, you're like, if you're looking to get messed up, probably not the one you're going to be reaching for. <laughs> is there a little citrus in there? I'm detecting a little hint of something. Oh, hold on. Let, let us little... drink another. <laughs> you mentioned drinking in the sun on the beach. Like I'm like, yeah, this. Yeah, it's got, it's got a bit of a, uh, some floral it's got some notes. some fun. Yeah. Yeah, let me citrusy notes. Lavender. <laughs> Rick, what do you think? What do you give this on the beer scale of supremacy? Well, since this is my first beer I've ever had, I think, uh, <laughs> you oh, know. It's so weird for you. Five, five out of five to our boys who brought oh, us this fresh yeah. 
nice. beer in the morning. I'm feeling great. Look, we use beer to take advantage of Tavis when he. he <laughs> No, seriously, this guy is the greatest street uh, greatest street fighter game player ever on oh, Super NES. So no whenever he starts wiping us out on the Super Nintendo, I'm like, have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yep, seven percent. He's like, I'm missing my combo. <laughs> what did, uh, did you rate it, Marshall? Oh, you uh, it? I'm gonna give this. Uh, ooh, uh, I'll go one above you. Just a uh, one. I'll go three point eight. Uh, actually, I really do enjoy this. It's beer. really good. Uh, Coastal Empire does some weird funky stuff yeah and uh they're way back and the the place where they brew is is weird and creepy sort of but when you walk in you're like this is uh beer nirvana you walk in like oh my god all these beers i would just like the one up you sir (laughs) (laughs) this is this is great stuff from uh the wingman guys all right so big thanks to the wingman big thanks to you guys cannot wait for the show tonight so excited it's been way too long since Mm -hmm. the rock shows in town it is sold out but like you guys said once again if you don't have tickets you're live streaming the show uh, where? Twitch, Facebook, everywhere. YouTube, yep. Everywhere. And, and we're world premiering our music video for Own It tonight. Oh, yeah. So Own It, we, we debuted it a little bit ago. Uh, I You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Spotify. You can get it all those places. Uh, good tune, man. And Thank uh, you. You guys teaming up with the guys. Wait, do we have, are you playing it tonight? We're not going to play it tonight because oh. we, we wanted it to debut. We wanted it to come out. And then right. and then we've got some cool plans for it. We've got a cool little uh, some some things up our sleeve. It's going to be fun. All right. Okay. All right, guys, thank you uh, to the guys from Adelita's Way. The show tonight sold out. If you don't have tickets, feel free to get the live stream. Cotter and Marshall Show, Rock 1061.